Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install Windows 10 or 11 on your Raspberry Pi 3 or above. To begin with, you would need two websites that UUP Dump and WOR Project. So WOR stands for Windows on Raspberry. Before you actually go ahead and download the UUP Dump, dump uh, installer, you need to first decide on which operating system you want to go with, like Windows 10 or 11. Once you have selected the operating system, next thing you need to look for is the architecture. Raspberry Pi 3 or above is an ARM64 architecture, so ensure that you're not going with x64 or x86. This is Intel based or Intel or AMD based architecture. So here I'm going to go with Windows 11. So all you have to do is tap on the Windows 11 installer preview, insider preview, and then you can select the language, tap next, and next is choose the edition. I would not go with home or FOD and just go with Windows Pro. It's again completely up to you on which edition you want to go with, and I'm not going to go with all this extra frame I mean, options just include the windows update and here you need to ensure that you are do doing a download and convert ios option next is create a download package and that should create the downloader i have already downloaded and extracted this so let me jump directly to that after you extract your zip file, then go to the folder and you'll find UUP underscore download underscore windows. Just go ahead and execute it and it will ask for admin privilege. Just execute. And this should take a while because it's going to download all the windows 10 or 11 uh, necessary files and then finally create an ISO file for it. So uh, I'll resume back once the entire download process is completed. That's it, uh, the image has been created. We are going to exit out of it and you can see the ISO being created. And the next step is to download the uh, WOR package. So all you have to do is you know, the, uh, visit the WOR project and go with the latest repository uh, and download the latest uh, you know, release. I have already done that and next step would be to execute that. I'm gonna do that right now and do the minimal configuration browse for the image and uh, you should be done with it so I'm just going to go to the folder where I created the image uh, you know select the language next uh, in my case it's Raspberry Pi 3 uh, what I'm trying to do is that uh, I want to show that this will work even in Raspberry Pi 3 but I would not recommend it because it is really really slow uh, for some reason uh, okay uh, let me uh, go ahead and insert an SD card first I forgot about that okay I have uh, inserted the SD card let me check if it, let me refresh the list first and I can see the SD card here I'm going to select the Raspberry Pi 3 and image I think I should you should support drag and drop let's check yep uh, it's supporting that um, yep uh, that's correct I would say store it on this computer but I would go with the latest packages and same thing with the firmware and finally I mean I would not modify any of this and keep it as such and finally go ahead and delete uh, install this this would format your SD card so ensure that you have backup the data on the SD card this is going to take considerable amount of time I'm not really sure why but in the initial when I was testing that it took me more than half an hour to create the SD card image so uh, Let's wait and see how long it's going to take this time.
So finally, the SD card is all ready with Windows 11 boot and we can pop this up to our Raspberry Pi and it should boot Windows 11. I'm going to pop it up to my Raspberry Pi and boot it up now. I'm going to go ahead and boot the Raspberry Pi. But before we could actually fully enter into Windows, we need to do one small changes if you're using Raspberry Pi 4 with more than 1 GB RAM. So tap on the escape as soon as you see the Raspberry Pi and go to device manager and Raspberry Pi configuration. Here you see an extra option called limit RAM to 3 GB. That would be enabled by default, but you have to go ahead and disable it and then uh, you know just tap on escape and save the settings and, and and then you can reboot I don't need to do that in Raspberry Pi 3 since it has only one JP RAM so I would say continue and this should go ahead and boot Windows 11 on my Raspberry Pi 3 we'll wait for the Windows to boot up and finally enter the you know initial boot up configuration And finally, it's all set up. So all I have to do is uh, I'll go and uh, select my location. Everything looks good. Tap the next. So I know that it's going to run really slow because this Raspberry Pi 3 has just one GB RAM, and uh, that's like the bare bare minimum. So if uh, for Windows 11 to work properly, it needs at least 4 gigs of RAM. It would work on 2 gigs, but for better performance, you would need at least 4 gigs of RAM. As you can see, it's already struggling. I have actually tapped the next button, but yeah, it takes forever. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here since the rest of the process remains the same. It's just that try to do this on a Raspberry Pi 4 as you'll see a lot of performance issue. Please do like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.